Hey explorers, today we'll be exploring the museum flight, which is located in Seattle, United States of America. We are now in the Museum of Flight. Inside the museum, you'll find a lot of space and air history. First, I'll be taking you to take a look at anything related to space. Over here, we will find information related to astronauts, rockets, the moon, planets, other information about the solar system, and anything related to space travel. There's an astronaut. The first man on the moon, Neil Armstrong, landed on it on July 20, 1969, and changed the viewpoint of mankind ever since then. In the Museum of Flight, you'll find information about the first man on the moon. Okay, now it's time to look at other space-related information. Let's see what's back. Okay, so we have the astronauts, the astronauts' wives. So I'm guessing this one is married to this one. In this section, you can read, watch, and listen to space history. This is a video clip of the former President of the United States of America, John F. Kennedy. In this section of the Museum of Flight, our role is to keep pulling the lever down until the bottle fires up. The bottles represent rockets. We did it! The rockets fired up. Oh, you're down. That's cool. That's cool. And now we're gonna try again. Okay, there goes our second rocket. This is a much darker section of the museum featuring space-related information. So far, this is my favorite machine. See? You can just click on something like that and that changes. So let's say you want to see Saturn. Saturn. You can see Saturn. It turns into Saturn. I'll actually without the rain. You want to see the sun? It turns into the sun. And over here is green. Yeah. And this one I probably. Yeah, we got the volume box up here. Okay, and that's Mercury. This is the Earth. That's Jupiter. Saturn. Pluto. Neptune.
Okay, now we're walking into one of the parts of the spacecraft model. We're done with spacecrafts and I'll be taking you to the section that showcases information about aircrafts. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. Hmm? In 1903, the Wright brothers successfully built the first plane in the world. Ever since then, the viewpoint on travel has been modified. In the Museum of Flight, you can see a model of the first plane ever built. And located just in front of the first plane's model, is information for you to read about the history about this first plane. You can be rest assured that there are many different types of plane models inside of the Museum of Flight for you to view. If you want to, you can also take pictures in front of the wide variety of airplanes. There is one section here referred to as cockpits. In the cockpits, you may want to play with the available controls in the plane models to have a feel of what pilots would do. Here, we have two options, either the FA-18 Hornet or the SR-71 Blackbird. First, here is some information about the FA-18 Hornet, the US Navy, Marine Corps, and many foreign nations have used the FA-18 Hornet. The version in the Museum of Flight is a mock-up done by Northrop Corporation. Second, here's some information about the SR-71 Blackbird. The US Air Force and NASA have used the SR-71 Blackbird. It has a speed record of more than 2,100 meters per hour. The aircraft serial number in the Museum of Flight is 64-117-977. The Museum of Flight also gives you an opportunity to or inside real life planes. Lord is spacious without passengers enjoy elaborate meals in the dining saloon and spacious overnight. Here's how much you need to pay to be admitted into the Museum of Flight. For children 4 and under, it's free. For youth ages 5 to 17, it's $17. For adults 18 and above, it's $25. For seniors 65 and above, it's $21. Okay, it's time to go home. We are in front of the museum. It was really long, really fun at the same time. Everybody's in the car and I have to catch up with them. Wait for me!